Frances Haugen says she's worried that Facebook isn't equipped to tackle problematic posts that aren't in English. She told Parliament that the company wasn't investing enough in other languages. I'm deeply concerned about their underinvestment in non-English languages and how they mislead the public that they are supporting them. So Facebook says things like, we support 50 languages, when in reality, most of those languages get a tiny fraction of the safety systems that English gets. Maricha Shaka is a former member of the European Parliament. She's now policy director at Stanford's Cyber Policy Center, and she joins me live. Great to see you. Hi, good to see you. So for all of, of Facebook's problems in the U.S., the accusations uh, of, of it inciting violence, promoting hate speech and disinformation, they're actually much worse in the developing world. What can, what can global policymakers do, if anything, to rein in Facebook since Facebook apparently can't police itself? Well, it certainly can police itself, and it's really important now with the latest revelations that a conclusion gets drawn, that we don't wait for the next incident or scandal, whether it's in the United States or elsewhere in the world, and that democratically, legitimately elected leaders start doing their job. It is time for accountability and for accountability to be matching the challenges of the outsized power of Facebook and other tech companies. There needs to be more access to information and transparency. I think one of the big takeaways of all the information that is now becoming public, thanks to the whistleblower, is how much we cannot independently verify. And so the need for independent oversight should be a top priority for any democratic lawmaker. But will we actually see change this time? Um, and especially will we see change if the leadership remains the same, if Mark Zuckerberg stays at the helm? Well, it shouldn't depend on what the leadership of, Zucker, of, of Zuckerberg or of Facebook is, frankly. It should be dependent on the leadership of politicians. It is now time for Congress, particularly, to overcome its differences and to look at the public interest of all Americans. And indeed, as you rightfully pointed out, so many people who suffer because of this American company uh, all over the world. There is an underinvestment in making sure that there is not hate speech le leading to violence in areas where English is not the main language. And so many lessons that are now hitting home in the United States have been seen very clearly have been reported on, concerns have been expressed to Facebook and nothing has been done. I really hope that this time it will be different. And we should also not forget that in the European Union, there are many, many legislative steps taken. It is not like Washington is the only legislative hub where change can come. Uh, we see Brussels taking many steps to make sure that antitrust, transparency, a gatekeeper responsibility and the role of tech companies in a democracy are more responsible. I'm curious what you think about maybe Facebook crossing into um, sort of a, a legal question mark here, because what it's accused of, uh, you know, financial issues, human rights issues, incitement of war, sex trafficking, and the fact that Facebook apparently knew all these problems were happening but couldn't or wouldn't stop any of it. Does this cross into questionable legal activity now? Oh, absolutely. And it is fundamental that uh, the U.S. Department of Justice, the SEC, SEC, the FTC also probe these allegations. I mean, these are serious allegations. It's important that they get uncovered, that information that can only be obtained by these um, institutions, independent institutions, is actually obtained and that we get to the bottom of this and that there is accountability, whether it is for Facebook's executives, whether it is in the form of fines, whether it is with the ultimate remedy of antitrust rules uh, through breaking up the company because there is no competition and, and there has been a systematic purchasing of competitors. There are many, many questions that deserve fundamental independent inquiry and, of course, accountability for those who were responsible, negligent, or uh, just ignoring the rules, frankly. It's not like there are no rules on the book, and it is important that not only the rules as they exist uh, get assessed, but also that we make sure that Facebook is not outside of the realm of many other sectors, you know, pharmaceuticals, cars, food and drinks. They're all assessed for whether these products and services respect public safety, public health, uh, whether there's no uh, illegal discrimination against sensitive populations. It is important that Facebook gets held to the same standard that, frankly, we all get to. All right, Maricha Shaka, thanks so much for your perspective.